I'm back, baby. Ooh. Honestly, I don't have a video prepared. I don't I don't have anything to talk about, but I was thinking that maybe we could just talk, you know, one on one, me and you. Yeah, th that sucks, anywho. Okay, I gotta find a video. Alright, so in the recent light of Jake Paul um getting his house raided and there being mad weapons in there. I wanted to look at Jake Paul's um, recent antics. I don't know, recent, recent antics. And two weeks ago, he released a, a song called Fresh Out of London. So we're gonna watch that and we're gonna react to it because Jake Paul has a track record of making music that's not really, how do I say this? How do I say this? Good? So I'm just like here like, hmm. Maybe this is, because I haven't watched anything Jake Paul's made in a minute. So maybe this is something good. Maybe this is, you know, actually good. We'll take a chance. We'll listen to it right now. So Jake, when you fighting KSI? Sure, I don't know. Whenever he stops playing FIFA. First, first, first off, first off, always have the bad biddies, the bad shorties. Always in the video. Booties hanging out, everything. That's essential for Fresh Out of London. Second, Jake Paul gotta be iced up. He has to be iced up. If he's not iced up, who the f who is he? I had to get ready for the Jake Paul video, so I had to get iced up also. I had to get iced up. Hey, but I heard it was like this. Yo, that's disrespectful. They have a beef going on? We'll do some research after this. So cool. Oh my god. Jake Paul's so cool. They know it. They wanna hate on the music, but I'm making hit. He got designer? How'd he do that? Why do why are these real niggas fucking with him? That's so stupid. Not gonna lie, kinda fire. The song is actually not that bad, but you know he didn't do a single thing in the studio. He just put his voice up. It wasn't him doing any type of writing, any type of producing, any type of help. That boy just took what they did and put it in the mic. You already know that's the vibe for him. Anywho, designer? <laughs> All right, overall, song's kind of fire, honestly. I, I thought I kind of liked it. I'm not gonna add it to my playlist because it's Jake Paul and uh, you'll never catch me adding Jake Paul to my playlist. Cause I have a reputation that I'm the best on Ox. And if my niggas call me playing Jake Paul on Ox, I'm getting kicked out the car. No, I'll jump out the car myself. They know it. They want to hit on the music when I'm making hits. Oh, I'm never doing that. Anywho. So this one wasn't that bad. This 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 one wasn't as bad. Because I've this has been really bad ones before. What's the boy been up to? What's what's Jake Paul been up to? What's Jake Paul been up to? That boy's been up to evil things. He de he definitely changed his channel from the kid crazy blah 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 bullshit to David Dobrik R rated type stuff, which is like you know it pops the views on YouTube, which I can respect. He changed. He realized his audience was growing up, so he decided to grow up with the channel, and I respect that. I can understand why you did that. This boy got. This boy got Emily Willis. If you don't, I'm not even gonna put the picture up. If you don't know who Emily Willis is, you're very, you're very, you're very innocent. He got Emily Willis in a video and put her in the thumbnail. She looked, she looks great. She looks amazing. She looks great. Okay. Um, and then titled Sex Tape. Sex tape. Just the man's doing big things, man. The man's doing big things. As you guys saw, the fight between me and Nate Robinson got announced on the undercard of Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. Oh yeah, Jake Paul's gonna fight Nate Robinson. You know the basketball player. He's gonna fight Nate Robinson. Jake Paul is gonna fight Nate Robinson on the undercard for Mike Tyson's fight, comeback fight. Who allowed? Who allowed that to happen? Who allowed that to happen? Why is Jake Paul an undercard for the comeback of one of the best boxers of all time? Why is he, who gave him that honor? You know what I'm saying? That should be me up there. That should be me. 
I, I don't like making these videos. I'm not good at making these videos. However, there's been so much back and forth, bullshit, lies being told, drama, egos, and it's time to just talk about it. I don't like to highlight the negative stuff or talk about it like I said. I don't like to highlight the negative stuff, but guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to highlight the negative stuff, and I'm going to make an entire video about it and make money off it while I'm doing it. I don't like negativity, but I'm going to start putting it in videos where millions of people will watch. It's all about the game plan. People like Jake Paul are extremely smart with marketing, with clickbait, controversies, and all that. He's very, I have to give it to him. Jake Paul is a smart ass guy. He knows what he's doing. But he's slimy. That boy's slimy. He's a slimy nigga. Slimy. I've been putting in the work in the studio for about a year now, down in my basement, just hustling, getting better, making dozens and dozens and dozens of songs. But again, I'm not even trying to hate on KSI for not writing his own music because a lot of artists in the music industry don't write their own music. It's very rare for an artist to actually write all of their own music. The comparison I make is like, why is it bad for a musician to have a writer when if you are watching a movie, the actors are saying lines that someone else wrote for them. Wrote for them? Wrote for them. Wrote for them. Oh my god, shut up! Shut up! The guy irritates my soul. Right here, right here. It hurts when I watch this guy's videos. I just don't. I don't, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Because I've, you know, I've been on the YouTube scene for a minute. I've been around YouTube. I know all the drama that's been, that happened for like the past, like, I want to say seven years. I could probably name a lot of the drama that's been happening between the people, the beef, what's happened exactly, because I like to keep up on my stuff. I like to keep up on my stuff. This man, I've seen him the most out of everybody, and he's the worst. He's like, who's gonna sound better? I wonder who's gonna get more views. Laughing emoji, ha 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 ha. Immediately he turns it into a competition. I say, I wish you the best of luck. He says, fuck off. <laughs> KSI, you're funny. You're a funny guy. You made me laugh there. You're a funny guy. I would probably say the same, honestly. He's, he's turning everything to a competition. Jake Paul, you're, you're a grown man. You're about 25. You're a grown man, and you're complaining about competition. But in real songwriting credits, it lists your, your writer's name by your legal name. If you go to one of KSI's songs, it's like Olin Tunji Gushi Buchi Wuchi, whatever his real name. That's kind of That's kind of racist. Personally, I think that's extremely disrespectful on some real shit. Let me get, let me get to real shit right here. That was extremely disrespectful how you messed up his name like that. It's not Olajide. Olajide. It's not hard. You. That, that's kind of disrespectful on some real shit. That's disrespectful. I thought to shout you for that. I swear to God, that's so disrespectful. No, man, he was like, arja, 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 like doing some bullshit. That's disrespectful. Olajide. At least try to pronounce it. Man, didn't even try. Now that's disrespectful. See, I'm heated. That's disrespectful. I, I genuinely, if he makes a good song, I will save that motherfucker in my Spotify library and bump that shit. For real. Capper. Capping out his ass. Such cap. He's capping. He will not. He's capping. He's capping out his ass. He's just capping. Like, cap. Just a lot of cap right there. Just a lot of cap. There's this weird disconnect between UK music and US music, so maybe this is considered good in the UK. What is he saying? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Good in the UK. Good. If music is good, it's good. It doesn't matter if it's from the UK. It doesn't matter if it's from the US, India, um, South America. It doesn't matter. No, like it. It seems like he went into the studio, recorded one one verse in probably an hour, and just ran with it. But it's no. There's no creativity. There's no lyricism. The man does not have the authority to talk about lyricism because you all you do is flex, and that's what most rappers do. They just be flexing and shit, and that's okay. That makes sense. But you cannot talk about no lyricism. Where's yours? I, I just want to find it. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to hear it. But I haven't because you don't have that either. Jake Paul is Jake Paul. We've all known him for a very, very long time. We've known Jake Paul to be a certain type of person. You know what? You know what? Jake Paul. Jake Paul. I'm gonna say this right now, and this is only gonna apply if I if what. No, when, when I get big. We have the mentality around here. When I get big, we will be in the studio together because I do make music. 
we will be in the studio together and I will be with you from the beginning process of making a song to the very release of the song. And I will see how good you are. If, if he ever see, when I make it big, when I make it big, we're going to be in the studio together. And I'm going to see how he does. I'm going to see how he do. Because he claims he does everything himself. And he claims he's been working hard. So that might be five years from now. Ten years from now. But at one point, I'll be in the studio with Jake Paul. And I will hold that guy accountable for everything he said in this video. That might be a stretch. Might not be. Whatever. We dream around here. We achieve our dreams. You know, cause I'm, you know, what, you know why I achieve my dream? Because I'm just built different. See, a lot of you guys are built normal and your breed is like regular. I'm just built different and my breed different. I'm unstoppable. I'm homophobic. No, that's a joke. Stop. <laughs> All right. So that's it for this video. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'm, I'm trying to upload more frequently because there's just a lot going on. You know, I'm moving soon, moving out of the... Moving out the, the crib, you know what I'm saying. And I just want to say thank you guys for supporting and watching. And I'll see you guys in my very next video, hopefully soon. I'll see you guys.